Hello, it's a pleasure to welcome you all to St. Stephen Warbrook for this week's Choral Classics with the Choral Scholars uh, directed by Olivia and unaccompanied this week. Phoebe's uh, having the morning off. Today uh, we are commemorating Holy Week with a powerful array of contemplative uh, music. Our programme opened with Drop, Drop, Slow Tears by Orlando Gibbons based on the text, a litany, by the 17th century poet Phineas Fletcher, published in 1633. Drop, drop, slow tears, and bathe those beauteous feet which brought from heaven the news and prince of peace. The opening of this poem refers to two passages from the Bible. Firstly, Luke chapter 7, verse 38. A woman described as a sinner washes Jesus' feet with her tears. And in Isaiah chapter 52, verse 7 proclaims, How beautiful on the mountains are the feet of those who bring good news. We now hear a setting of verses from the book of Lamentations, O Vos Omnes, part of the service for Tenebrae on Holy Saturday. O oh, all you who walk by on the road, pay attention and see if there be any sorrow like my sorrow. The music is by the composer and one of the world's most celebrated cellists, Pablo Casals.
in his uh, poem At a Calvary near the Ancre. Wilfred Owen combines images of the crucifixion with images from the First World War, inspired by a damaged Calvary, a wayside crucifixion scene at a crossroads in northern France. The reference in the poem to flesh marked by the beast has a double meaning of firstly priests wounded in the fight against Germany, but also symbolically referring it to those marked as one of Satan's followers, a strident criticism against the priests who hid apart from the soldiers as the disciples did from Jesus after his arrest. The poem ends with a quotation from John 15. Whenever hangs where shelled roads part, in this war he too lost a limb, but his disciples hide apart, and now the soldiers bear with him. Near Golgotha strolls many a priest, and in their faces there is a pride that they were flesh marked by the beast, by whom the gentle Christs denied. Scribes on all the people shove and bawl allegiance to the state. They who love the greater love lay down their life. They do not hate. We now hear John Sanders' uh, arrangement of the reproaches with the text which first appeared in the ninth century. My people, what have I done to you? How have I offended you? Answer me. I led you out of Egypt from slavery to freedom, but you led your Savior to the cross. The music is inspired by Allegri's famous Miserere, with its use of plain song contrasted with harmony in the verses. The harmonies in the words of the composer giving the music a sense of timelessness, reproaches.
poet Edith Sitwell also makes comparison between the crucifixion and elements of warfare. In her poem, Still Falls the Rain, it is the Nazi bombing of London in 1940, which is compared to the crucifixion. The last verse, Hope, is referenced through Jesus's continuing to shed his blood willingly for sinful humanity. Composer Benjamin Britten wrote a musical setting of this poem in 1955. Still falls the rain, the raids, 1940, night and day. Still falls the rain, dark as the world of man, black as our loss, blind as the 1940 nails upon the cross. Still falls the rain, with a sound like the pulse of the heart that is changed to the hammer beat in the potter's field and the sound of the impious feet on the tomb. Still falls the rain in the field of blood where the small hopes breed and the human brain nurtures its greed. That worm with the brow of Cain still falls the rain at the feet of the starved man hung upon the cross. Christ that each day, each night nails there. Have mercy on us on Dives and on Lazarus. Under the rain, the saw and the gold are as one. Still falls the rain. Still falls the blood from the starved man's wounded side. Bears in his heart all wounds. Those of the light that died. The last faint spark in the self-murdered heart. The wounds of the sad, uncomprehending dark. The wounds of the baited bear. The blind and weeping bear whom the keepers beat on his helpless flesh. The tears of the hunted hare. Still falls the rain. Then, oh, I leap up to my God who pulls me down. See, see where Christ's blood streams in the firmament. It flows from the brow we nailed upon the tree, deep to the dying, to the thirsting heart that holds the fires of the world, dark smirched with pain as Caesar's laurel crown. Then sounds the voice of one who, like the heart of man, was once a child who among beasts has lain. Still do I love. Still shed my innocent light, my blood for you. The composer of our next piece, Antonio Lotti, was born in uh, Venice in 1667 and is perhaps uh, most well known for his uh, Crucifixus in eight parts, which is uh, part of his uh, setting of the Creed, the Credo in F for choir and orchestra. He was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate. He suffered and was buried.
thanks indeed for joining us for Core Classics uh, this week. Do join us uh, tomorrow if you're able for our Core Eucharist at 12.45 for Monday Thursday. And uh, we then have a contemplative uh, jazz even song in the evening at uh, 5.45. Our principal celebration of Easter is on Saturday at uh, 6 p.m. with the vigil Easter fire and first communion of Easter with Schubert's Mass in G. Donations uh, to the work of the church are always uh, very much appreciated. You have uh, a blessed remainder of Holy Week and a wonderful Easter. Close with a second setting of Drop, Drop, Slow Tears, this time by William Walton, friend and patron of the poet Edith Sitwell. This uh, may well have been written when Walton was uh, only 15 while a scholar at Christ Church, Oxford. Cease not wet eyes, his mercy to entreat, to cry for vengeance, sin doth cease. In your deep floods drown all my faults and fears, nor let his eye see sin, but through my tears.